Good morning, traders. Rick here with Hit Run Candlesticks. I want to welcome you to our video blog. Uh, today's Friday the 13th, November 2020. I want to reach out and just say thank you to everybody for watching our video blog. We really appreciate your support. Uh, the comments you leave uh, it really helps with uh, helping people out because I get to see what you're looking for and then I answer your questions. Uh, whether I answer them here on the video or maybe in the trading room or both. So I sure appreciate that. Thanks for all the thumbs up that I've seen lately. Uh, yeah, great. Thanks. Okay, it's Friday. Good day to take some profits. Uh, I certainly personally would don't want to go over the weekend uh, with too many. And uh, I've, got, I've, I've got a few too many trades on. So we'll be getting rid of some of those today. <clears throat> All right, so you wake up this morning and the doggone market has gapped up and here you've been planning on it moving down. And I'll tell you, this market is crazy choppy and well, today here we are gapping up again a little bit. So when I look at the SPY here, uh, we can clearly see that the trend is bullish. And what I'm looking at is the um, price. So here's... Let's make this smaller. There we go. <clears throat> Here's the closing price yesterday. And this is the T-line right here. And this is the trend indicator. And that's the 34 EMA. And there's the 50 period moving average. And you can see we're trending up. Everything is, everything is trending, right? Price action is really choppy. And it's very hard to... Um, work around here the last few days. It really is. Uh, but the trend is up. I'll give it that. And I said in the room yesterday that the, the price action that we're having is confusing, disturbing. Uh, it's hard to make sense of. And it's because it's choppy. That's what it is. You, you just can't, when it's choppy like this, you can't, you can't control it. Or it's awfully hard anyway. But the truth of it is, that we are still in a trend. And as long as we remain in that trend, you almost have to stay bullish. You can't, at least from my point of view, from my trading anyway, kind of hard to be uh, short, although we're short a few positions now. Uh, so we're gapping up this morning, and I, I kind of feel like above 360.60, that's when, that's when I will look at getting... Uh, bullish in the market. I mean, like, you know, maybe quit talking about choppiness and quit dabbling with a couple of shorts. So once we break out of that, then I'm probably good to go. Once we stay kind of choppy, I'm going to keep a couple shorts on and, and uh, well, play that, or play the VXX, something like that. So a uh, lot of caution when we're choppy like this. A lot of caution is needed. Uh, but just keep in mind, we are still trending. Another chart that I, I, I value uh, a great deal, and it's just because some, some of the charts that's in this, this FNGU, they're just so powerful. When they move, they move the market. I mean, there are markets in themselves, some cases, like Apple, for instance. So I, I really have to watch what happens here. And um, so let's just put a lineup like this. And let's come over here. We'll just put, we'll just put a top. Let's just do that right there. So while we're in this area, really, it's just a lot of chop, 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 chop. Here we are, a uh, big candle to the downside. We had follow through and we have come back. But really, all we're creating right now is kind of a bear flag on these four bars right here. Now, it's not a bear flag that I'm going to run out and just be all kind of crazy short because it is somewhat moving sideways. We really need this thing to show us that it's going to be positive and start moving up. If it continues to trickle down, which it, it's it, for the last three days here, it's somewhat consolidated. It's come back a little bit. But if we do see this trickle down, I'm going to be a little concerned. Uh, with the market. Now, if we start to move up until we break out of this top, I see chop, 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 chop. And uh, that's going to be a little bit, well, in my opinion, that's how the market makes money is through this chop. 
Have you ever noticed in your trading when the market gets choppy, uh, a lot of um, indecision, uh, gapping every every morning, uh, just gap here, gap there. Have you noticed how you might not be making uh, good money through those times? Well, the market's got to eat too. And uh, uh, that's, to me, in my opinion, that's how the market eats. At least that's what it does for me. Uh, I seem to tip the market well when it does this. Uh, it, it seems like <laughs> I, I tip the market well. So, all right, let's take a look at some trades here. Uh, Mac. Mac has been in a downtrend here. You can see that downtrend. And uh, here we've broken out. And we popped up and we pulled back right to the T-line area. So what I'm going to do here is, I, I do this on, I mean, this is exactly the way I trade, is I'm going to put uh, a buy box. And the reality is this whole area is a buy area. Because this is, to me, this is the pocket. Now, that's the upper end of the pocket. Right now, as long as this low holds, this is the lower end of the pocket. We look at this trade, and this is where we like to look for an entry, anywhere in that box, even up here. It's just higher in the pocket. And then we look for, well, what can it do for us? Well, how about there? Uh, how about... Well, let's go all the way to the top. So somewhere between one, somewhere between 11, 10, and, 11, and 13, 10, something up there. So if we were to buy at the top of the buy box, we're looking at 20.5% followed by a possible 40%. That's a ton of money. So we like to buy um, when the chart pattern is setting up. And what this is possibly setting up for right now is a bullish J-hook continuation pattern and that's in a perfect world we'd like it to go right up but it doesn't usually do that so it kind of bounces around uh, people that buy it um, it bounces around and it shakes some people out some people stay in uh, and then it just starts moving up and making money so uh, I'm kind of liking this one I think what I'm going to do is put uh, the buy box between that low and this uh, candle day before yesterday, right in there. So that's where we're going to be looking to buy it at. Uh, as far as the stop goes, well, let's put a stop. If we come over here, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to paint this uh, red, just like that. And that's that's absolutely how I look uh, to trade. And uh, that's how we trade the Road to Wealth account. Uh, up. And this is, you know... Um, Whenever, um, whenever we buy anything, uh, just for the members out there and for the trial members, just so you know, if you're not getting the alerts, uh, please, please get a hold of us so we can help you. Because uh, being a member and a trial member, you should get the alerts within seconds after uh, the Road to Wealth account purchases something. Uh, so if we purchase uh, M Mac here, say. Within seconds, you should receive an alert on your smartphone, and we'll include the uh, the stop, the um, cost we paid, uh, and being an option, we'll include also the option price. Now, of course, if you don't trade options, there's nothing wrong with that. You can certainly trade the stock. Uh, you'll still know where the stop is. The stop will be in the same place, whether we buy an option or a stock, it's always going to be the same place. It's not going to change. Um, and you'll also know if we adjust uh, the stop up or close the trade. We also post that stuff, and you'll get that uh, within seconds. So please, if you are a current member or a current trial member, um, make sure you get a hold of, of us if you're not getting those alerts, and we'll see what we can do to get you fixed up there, okay? All right, I need to get going here or we're going to run out of run out of time. So Disney, a lot of talk in the news on Disney here. Um, oh, well, CNBC. That's what I watch. A lot of talk on CNBC. And we're gapping up a little bit here. Now, Disney's, you know, with, with the whole COVID thing going on, um, D Disney can be tricky to trade. It, it's It's... It's not 100% reliant on its theme parks. It has other means of uh, making money. 
So that's what's really working for them. Um, so if you're looking at Disney, especially if you're looking at long-term play, um, there could be something there when, when, when they, you know, when we get this, when we get COVID sort of controlled, uh, wrangled up, uh, Disney could be a real hot topic. It could be a mover here. Uh, but for trading, uh, we've had a nice rally up, nice little pullback. We're gapping up a little bit. Uh, what I'd be looking for is a breakout over this area here to move higher. Let's go to a weekly chart just so we can see what's over here to the left. So I'm going to put a line right here at this top right there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to a little longer just because I want to see what's out there. Okay. So um, we get to this uh, 153. We're, we're getting in the neighborhood of a breakout here, right? So... What I'm looking for here is we have a, I'm going to look at the bodies. We have a, uh, a body high, a body lower high, and another body lower high. So it seems to me that's kind of an important area. So I'm going to put a line right there. And, uh, well, you know what? Actually, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is put the buy box in there. So I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to put the buy box right on top of this doji down here and let's put our stop in there about right there so with with uh, disney i'll look at a buy in this area or a very slight breakout with a target up here nor near that 153 area that gives us about a nine maybe a ten percent uh run here and then of course if it starts to break out then we have a whole new trade uh to the upside uh, EVRI, man, let me get rid of all that. There we go. EVRI is uh, trending up. You can clearly see that, that we're trending. I'm going to put a line right here. Hey, we broke out. I'm actually going to move this line up a little bit because here we broke out and then we tested, 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 and it looks pretty successful. We have a doji bullish engulf here. So let's put this line right here. And on positive trading, you know, I, I noticed this candle over here. So we have uh, a high, a high, a high, about the same place. So I think what I'm going to do here is put the buy box up here. This breaks out. We get in that buy box. That's where I'll look for um, a possible entry. If we look at a weekly chart, just so we get a bigger picture, that's all I'm doing is stepping back and looking at the chart in a, in a, a broader sense. We can see that uh, this may be a top right here, and this is, you know, price loves to go back to places like this. So, um, there we go. So, with a possible buy inside the buy box, we'll be looking at somewhere around, wow, that's a lot, 33% move, hmm, that's a ton. So, definitely uh, be looking for profits in the middle here. As far as a stop goes, um, if we buy it up into here, I may not want it. Let's see. Um, mm, I don't think we want, we don't want to go down that low now, do we? So, uh, well, I'll probably have to put the stop. Say, eh, I'm going to go right in here, right at the top of this doji here. Yeah, you know, it's also right at the low of this candle, so... Let me paint this red just so I know it's a stop. There we go. All right. Hey, and also, you know, if you're in the trading room or uh, you have another way you can send me a message through YouTube here is really nice. Just get on the YouTube, go down below, and you'll see where other people leave messages. You can leave a message if you have a question. Uh, you can certainly ask about a chart. Um, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, th this is not... You know, this is not going to be a right away. It's not going to be an instant. Um, you want instant, then, you know, the trading room is the place to be right there. Uh, Roku. Uh, watching Roku here. Here we've rallied up. We've pulled back. We've tested. Roku looks like it might be uh, setting up for a possible trade. Now, with Roku, if you're already in it, I think that's great. Just manage it. Move your stop up. Uh, if you're not in it, like I am not, then I'm going to look for a buy above that 239.45 area. That would be the buy box. We'll look for it to move higher. That's where we make our money. 
and we'll have put a stop once we decide where the buy is. Um, XLE. I'm seeing a lot of oil stocks. I mean, they oils, we've talked about it quite a bit here lately, and uh, the oil stocks are really, well, they're kind of shaping up a little bit. So, the, and there's several of them that I think is set up uh, for an individual trade. But if you want to, uh, if you're thinking about a basket of stocks, XLE might be the what, what you might be looking at. And this is what I'm looking at. And I'll also buy a couple of uh, oil stocks as the days go by. I'm sure I'll pick up one. In fact, I'm in, I'm in HAL, H-A-L, right now. Uh, bought that yesterday. We sent that alert out to the members and to the trial members. So XLE might be a way to trade uh, a basket here. And we might be getting in that neighborhood now for a buy area. So here's what I'm going to do right there. So that, and I'm going to actually go up a little bit. There we go. So this might be an area that we start looking for an entry. Now, you know that I'm going to look for a positive candle. Uh, so I want to see that, that positive price action. So I need some bulls to step in or even break out. And that would be a trade for me as well. So we're going to keep our eye on that. We'll keep it on our scanner. And then when we're alerted uh, for an entry, we're certainly going to take that entry. And I will send out an alert to uh, the members and trial members, subscribers of Hit and Run Candlesticks. Uh, with a buy inside the buy box, I'm, I'm probably, right now, uh, I'll just use uh, 3160. I'll adjust that based on the actual entry. But right now, 3160 is what I would look at. Coke. Now, I've been wanting Coke. I've been chasing it around, but I haven't bought it. I did not buy it down here. I didn't like the chart. It didn't meet my qualifications. And then the doggone thing gaps up. So um, here we are pulling back now. Uh, I like the pullback. Looks like we're opening up just about at the top of yesterday's candle. And that's okay. I like that. So I'm thinking about some Coke. Can't guarantee I'm going to buy it today. But when I do, I do guarantee I will send an alert out on that. And... Uh, Let's look for 56 and then maybe up here to 59 for a target on Coke. Uh, so keep your eyes and ears open. We'll let you know when we buy that. Uh, Upwork. Upwork. I love this chart. Um, I, I should have bought this yesterday. I looked at it a couple of times. My problem is I'm, I'm a, I've got too many positions on right now. Uh, I will be getting rid of some of those positions. And I may add a couple more. Uh, but my net overall will be down. And this might be one of them. I, I really like the way this looks. Uh, nice chart pattern here. Uh, bullish candle, doji. We're, to me, we're right in prime time. So we'll be watching that. A uh, Glue. Glue may be setting up. Uh, glue had dipped to the downside. It started a nice little trend here and it lost. Well, it just lost itself. And then boom, here we gap up. We've pulled back. Looks like we're looking pretty good here. So this whole area to me uh, is an area to negotiate your entry. Every trader is a little bit different. Um, as far as a target goes, we're going to look at this first top up here. And then once we break out, let's peek at the weekly chart here. Yeah, once we break out of $10, boy, we could get into the $15, $20, $30 area. The... Uh, High over here back in 2000, what is it, seven, if you want to go back that high, is about 14 and a half bucks. So, so um, we'll watch for that entry. Uh, I can't, you know, I wish I could say, look, I'm going to buy this at uh, $8.76. I can't do that. That's not my style of trading. Uh, what I'm going to do is watch the scanner. I also watch the market when I think that it's right for me then that's when I'll be placing that entry. If we do buy in that green box, which is a, a good probability, then we're going to be looking at about an 18% move to the first target, then possibly 25. And well, woo, we'll talk about that one when we get when we break out. Uh, again, when we buy that, for those that have subscribed to our trial 
service or and and those that have a membership we will certainly send you an alert on your smartphone again on your smartphone if you have not connected with the app and paired it please 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 do so if you want it i guess if you don't want the alerts well then don't uh, if you need a little help shout out at us we'd be very very happy to help you okay all right everybody take care have a wonderful day and have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you either in the trading room or maybe you guys all take care and uh, enjoy your weekend later